And for the Celtics, Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. White and Brown with the two and the three. And it's Pritchard in at the point guard. Hardaway against White. Hardaway, the pass to Gafford. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Celtics. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. And they're also really getting it done at the free throw line. They've earned a lot of good calls that are making the most of every trip they get to the line tonight. First free throw is good. Holiday's checked in for Pritchard. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. They're missing a chance to trim the lead by leaving points at the line. Now Brown. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Gafford's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. He hasn't had his best game, but they've got enough production elsewhere, so it hasn't really mattered. Doncic against Holiday. Horford. It's good on the putback. And their offense has been much tighter since halftime. The guys are starting to work together, moving the ball around, getting good shots. Hardaway against White. Hardaway, no good. And you've got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. And Gafford with the block. Hardaway finds Gafford. Here's Exum, defended by Brown. Buries it from three. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Outside, Brown lets it go from deep. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. Love the response by Brown, marching right back down and dropping in his own three. Here's Exum. Kicks it out to Hardaway. The shot. Kept alive. He really hasn't had it offensively tonight. This team needs him to play better. Brown passes to Holiday. Back to Brown. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Porzingis. This one for three. Doncic pulls down the board. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. The three from Washington. Another three for Dallas. Something seemed to click for him at halftime. He's looked a lot more focused, and the game is just easy for him now. White, the pass to Horford. And they call an illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. The Celtics making a switch here. Tatum's checked in, and Dallas with a change here, too. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Hardaway. Doncic passes to Irving. Nails it from three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Boston has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Doncic against Holiday. Porzingis passes to Brown. Boston no good that time either. 
Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. Washington's shot is good. Whatever adjustments were made at half, boy, they are working. He's looking like a different player since the break. Holiday taking his time here. Outside White. White coming through. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Doncic against Holiday. Doncic passes to Washington. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Tatum. And that one falls for Washington. That one's no good. And it's Tatum with the ball for the Boston Celtics. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Brown. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Gafford. 157 left in the fourth. Pass to Doncic. Luka! Get off me! And from the moment he stepped into the league, Luka's been a big-time player. Here's Tatum, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The officials were right on top of that one. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. This is why this team wants Tatum to get fouled. They trust him down the stretch. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a five-point game. Well, they wanted every last one of those, and he delivered, making it a two-possession game. And he's going for the oop here. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Now the Celtics on the move. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Two shots. Foul. Two. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game taking full advantage of his opportunities at the line to extend their lead. Doncic feeling it out a bit. 
Here's Washington. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 from the floor. And just an important bucket down the stretch. This is when his focus becomes razor sharp. The deeper into crunch time we get, the harder he's going to work on that offensive glass. And how do you guard this? It's hard to stop the turnaround, Jay, when it's done like that. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting it well. Almost 50% for the floor. Let's it fly. And it's out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. Gafford finds Irving. Let's go with a three. That shot off. Good work defensively by White. Boston's gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. And now a nine-point Boston lead. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Now a timeout called by Dallas. They're down by nine. 46 seconds left in the game. Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. Yeah, he really got after it tonight. I mean, they ask him to provide a big chunk of the offense, and wow, he responded. The defense had no idea how to contain him. Yeah, this is something he will remember forever. These types of performances in the playoffs are what define a player's legacy. Washington passes to Doncic. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Left side Tatum. It's stolen by Washington. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Yeah, they got to be disappointed with this result. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And that's going to be a foul on Boston. He drops the first one, and that brings him with an eight. Jones hits them both. And here's Boston. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. Here's Pritchard.
And the Boston Celtics have done it. They are the NBA champions. Oh, they did it, and it is time to celebrate. You can see the relief, the exhilaration that comes from winning it all. It is over. You have accomplished your goal. An incredible display of resilience. Seemingly, every time they were challenged, Grant, they rose to the occasion. And B.A., I have to give props to the front office for making all the right moves. And the coaching, just phenomenal. And then, hey, it's a player's league. Those guys came out and took care of business. And thanks to everyone out there who's been with us through this entire journey. Take care, and we'll see you next season.